Well, here I am on Leeds Gorilla, and I'm going to do a search for architects across a specific area of Bristol. This is a Google Business Leads, and they are leads from Google My Business. So first of all, I'm going to put the location, the postcode. I'm going to put a five kilometer radius. That's what I've been asked to do. And here we are on architects. I'm going to do a search. Searching very thoroughly, as you can see. And all the time giving you advice not to spam and not to use this particular software irresponsibly. It's really about finding a lot of contact details for your target audience very quickly. Now, it's come up with a number of uh, a number of architects, come up with 15, but I just want those with emails. Let's come up with 10. Now, I can save each lead. I can go through and decide which ones I want to contact. So I can do that. I don't want to do that, actually. I want to contact all of them. And there's no further, no, very often it says more, you know, carry on. Uh, there's no more to be had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to export that to a CSV file to bring into my system. Now, Interestingly, if I go back to this, you can get all sorts of data from it. You can go and look to see who's got photographs, 10 or less, i.e. an architect not showing photographs, two of them. You see here that that is affecting their Google rankings not enough reviews for a good ranking not enough they've only got two they've got none they've got less than 10 photographs so have they they've not claimed uh their google my business so that's interesting so if i take that off and some without emails i've seen that this even more so not enough not enough etc so there's some good data here there's also addresses website telephone this has got no email that's why it wasn't showing up on the first search that has got an email depends what you want so you hope you found that useful now this is going to be interesting. I'm going to search now for marketing, same category, same region. Looking for marketing people now. I'm just going to put marketing. I could put marketing consultant, marketing agency. You can play around with that. But it's what anybody would search for on a website on Google to find a marketing company or consultant. So you can see it's doing its work. I'll speed this up. It's found 10 with emails. And you'll notice here it says show more leads. So let's go and see if we can find some more leads. You see, for instance, that this one here, Rubicon Marketing, their rating is one star. There's not enough reviews, no photographs, etc. even though the business is operational. Anyway, it's found some more. And in fact, we'll carry on. Carry on for as, as long as, you know, you can pull off as much data as it'll allow if you want the bigger list. And I would recommend that you do that because you're really going to sort it. It's interesting that the Google My Business lead score technology is only giving these latter two 22%.
have not claimed their Google My Business. Uh, really, is quite amazing. These people have. So these people are not helping themselves. They're a bit better move on ahead, move, moving ahead. So if you're wanting to offer, right, we've got the total now. What have we got? We've actually got 24, so that's good. So what I can do is, first of all, I deselect and I select again, and I can export to a CSV file. I've done that. Now, just want to show you something that is useful for web designers. I'm going to save Viper Marketing, Click Swipe Marketing, and Flying Geese Marketing, and Consultancy. Wow. So I can add these to a, uh, add selected leads to manage them. So that's a different target category. So first of all, let's add a new campaign category. Test marketing, call it that, add a campaign, and I'm going to add the data I've just got to that. Now, I'm going to go to reports now. Select a campaign, just push myself back over here, shall we? Select a campaign. These are lots of campaigns. Just got 10. So I can now generate a report. So let's say I've got, I've just put those three businesses into this uh, report. They've got a 54% optimization score. So they're doing pretty well. These are fairly rubbish. So let's generate a report for flying geese marketing. Now, do I want to know whether they're mobile friendly, social report, video report? I'm going to check all of those. I can check them individually if I want. I can get all that information off this, and I'm now going to generate a report. So a digital marketing company, a website company, would find an analysis or a report on any single website. Very useful if you're trying to sell some or all of those services to them because it's one thing to say that you can help them, but another thing to show what Google is seeing and how they're potentially losing business. So this, this report's taking a little while to generate, not surprisingly. And here it is. There's the cover, Google My Business. These are the details listed. Google rankings, category, reviews, none, low ratings, none, no photographs, none. Is it claimed, unclaimed, what clients are saying about you, nothing. Business top five competitors, wow. Your website responsive analysis. So now we go back, having generated the report, you can now download it. It's being processed right now. So if I try and download something that's not been generated, it tells me you must first generate it. So you generate the report first, and then you can download it. Here we go. There's a report in a PDF fashion. Very, very professionally laid out. These are your competition. These are the people that are stealing your business. Not, their website's not even mobile friendly. Instagram, no account found, no Facebook account found. I mean, are these people really in business? No videos found, no Facebook pixels, etc. You just save that now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at a decent one. 
going to generate this report. Again, I'm going to check all of them. Might as well. But obviously, if you don't, if you're not involved in producing SS, SSL certificates or um, AdWords, etc., then you just don't tick those. It, it just determines what information you're going to get. So this is a report generation for click swipe marketing. Report is generated, so I'm now going to go back to the dashboard of the GMP report. Select my campaign again. I wish it went back straight to it, but never mind. And then I can now go and download that one. It looks if like you put a lot of effort into that, and yet it's taken me minutes to do. No reviews, interestingly. Very few photographs, very few posts. They've claimed certain things. What clients are saying. Obviously, Vanessa Ford has said something. There's some competition for them. I don't know what that competition is based on because they've got low ratings. They've got decent ratings. Anyway, you can get the idea. So there you go. I hope you found that useful.